at this wholesome video, guys. Isn't it great that real people can post real body transformations? Honestly, I'm so happy for this guy. Well, let's see what the comments have to say about this post. How have you barely put on any weight in nine months? Well, Jesus f***ing Christ, Cameron Willis. I didn't think it was that deep. God damn. Chat, does anyone know, is he natty or not? All right, bro, that one's kind of wild. I think there's been some confusion. I'm not the one in trouble here. What? There are only four of you. Wow, that's great. A few months ago, bro couldn't even deadlift 70 kilos, and now he's doing it for three reps. Proud of you, bro. Not too late to take this down. God f***ing damn, bro. Again, it's not that deep. I don't understand, bro. This guy's literally just showing his lifting journey. He's making improvements, and people just hate it. All right, everyone, welcome back. Today, I found TikTok's worst gym community on all of TikTok and Instagram. This guy right here is called Jack's Fit, and he has an Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube page with a ton of followers. This guy was first brought to my attention by a Joe Fazer video, where Joe helped Jack by giving him a ton of advice and helping him to start to bulk up. As you can probably quite easily tell, he's a very long, tall, skinny kid, and he's 18 years old. From Joe Fazer's video, Jack started gaining a ton of followers on all platforms, and now to this day, posts a ton of videos like I've just showed you. Now, Jack's videos alone aren't entirely the reason I'm making this video you're seeing right now, Monkami. Rather, the reason I'm making this video is because I was scrolling through some of Jack's videos, and I noticed that the comments were just f***ing insane. Now, some of these comments comments on Jack's videos are actually pretty solid, a ton of people giving him encouragement and support and a bit of advice. But some of the comments, bro, honestly just make no sense to me. So today I've lined up some of Jack's Fitz videos with most r comments I've ever seen. So let's just see what we're working with today. Okay, so we've just seen some compilation video, you know, something to inspire newbie lifters in the gym. I mean, that deadlift PR was pretty hype, I'm not gonna lie. Now, the obvious standout from this guy, Jack, right here is that he's obviously really skinny. Let's not bullshit ourselves here. I'm not gonna be negative towards this guy, Jack, in this video. I'll save that for the comments later on. But if we're being completely real here, Jack has a hell of a lot of work to do. He's just about 60 kg in body weight and six foot one. Just for comparison, I'm the exact same height and 20 kilos heavier, and I'd probably call my myself a little bit on the skinnier side as well. So the first course of action for this guy is to obviously eat a ton more food. But let's see what the comments think of this compilation. Bro thinks he's going somewhere. Well, I don't want to be that guy, but I reckon the 200,000 followers compared to your 500 kind of tells the tale. The fact that this kid who barely has any muscle for his height is crushing you on social media and making a ton more money than you is fucking sad, buddy. You've got the Jesus is Lord in your bio, when I'm pretty sure the first point about being a Christian is thou shalt love of thy neighbor as thyself. I don't know if this comment exactly fits that commandment, buddy. Day two of asking you to do a line of <laughs> Bro, what the f*** am I reading? I swear, I cannot go past one Instagram reel without some motherfucker sitting there commenting some sh** like that. I recommend doing a lot less cardio and instead of PRs, do reps and find a weight where you can do six to eight. When you get to 12, up the weight. Okay, now this comment right here is good and horrible at the same time. The recommendation to do less cardio, I'm just gonna say, say right now is so stupid. Do not listen to that advice ever if someone tells you to stop doing cardio. I don't care if you're a beginner in the gym and have a high metabolism or whatever the hell, that is the dumbest excuse I've ever heard. The whole narrative in the gym I keep seeing is these chubby lifters saying that cardio kills your gains, man, and it's actually mind-boggling to me. The whole point of doing cardio is to make sure your heart stays healthy. The first point, right, is that if you don't do your cardio and continue to gain weight rapidly, your heart is gonna have to work so much harder since it isn't trained to handle that much weight. Your resting and average heart rate is going to rapidly increase, which is a bad thing. The lower your heart rate is, the better. So a realistic example is someone who's 65 kg might have a resting heart rate of 60, right? But if they gain a ton of weight without doing cardio, that'll go to 70 to 75, which is not healthy. Also, cardio doesn't kill your gains for those saying that. Yes, it burns calories from doing cardio, but you burn more calories when you're sleeping and just generally moving around in the day. The amount of cardio you're doing to burn calories is not that much. 30 minutes on a treadmill or a bike isn't gonna kill you. Also, if you burn calories from doing cardio, your body naturally makes you hungrier to replace those calories you've just burned. So overall, yes, this comment is good lifting advice, but don't listen to the people saying don't do your cardio. It's stupid. Social media has completely ruined our perception of good progress. 
You could you can't really make good progress in one month. It takes many months. It takes many years. And if you look at my first ever time lifting, I didn't have any body fat. Of course, it's going to take longer for me. I had literally like 5% body fat. I had to gain the body fat. I had to gain the muscle. And now I've made... All right, progress. You know what? I agree, Jack. Although there are some things you could be doing better, which believe me, when I first started lifting, I was in the exact same boat. There were so many things I could have been doing better. I still think that for Jack's height and weight and someone that's a beginner in the gym, he's still making progress, which is the main thing, and he is sticking to the gym consistently. Wrong. If you don't see any progress in the first week, give up and try something else, because if you haven't made any progress in a whole week, you're obviously shit at what you're doing. Okay, well, although I'm pretty convinced that that comment is is a joke it still makes no fucking sense obviously in the gym you aren't gonna make significant progress in the first week my first week in the gym consisted of sloppy form very light weights a ton of soreness the next morning and a whole lot of humbling the only changes i noticed and a lot of you probably noticed in your first couple of weeks of weightlifting is that you got a tiny bit stronger you get a lot stronger in the gym before you start to see muscle growth take fentanyl and blast gear well i mean that's one way to look at it to be fair to this guy i mean it would help okay okay for the youtube you bots watching this video right now that was a joke do not take fentanyl and blast gear i am not promoting steroids or drugs youtube Guys, you might want to look at this. Jack's fit versus slight breeze. Okay, okay, I do not approve of this comment and I do not find it funny at all. Look, again, a lot of these comments are probably just people trying to get a reaction out of other people. I don't genuinely think that these people commenting shit like steroids are being serious. However, the people that actually comment huge paragraphs telling this guy to stop doing cardio, they are the people I have problems with. Look, it's not like this guy Jack is actually going to listen to these people, but it's still crazy to think that he actually will. This is everything I'm eating in a day to build muscle and put on size. All right, cool. Let's see what we're working with here. All right, that's pretty solid. I don't want to give away too much about what I eat in a day, but this is pretty accurate for me, except I probably don't eat bread. I don't normally eat too much for breakfast. Although this right here is a pretty good meal. Okay, look, that's pretty good and all, but if I'm being honest here, I just don't really believe that he eats all of this every single day. With his body weight and the fact that he's supposedly been doing this for nine months now, I reckon he's probably skipped a couple of days of this. My personal advice as someone that has set out diet plans and not stuck to them before and was probably around the same weight as Jack's feet in the past, you know, there were times where I'd be switching up things day to day and, you know, I wouldn't be eating certain things. But if I were Jack's fit right now, I'd be switching up this diet all the time. If you don't want to eat the pasta and chicken, in one day, switch it out if you're craving a burger and go get a burger instead. I wouldn't recommend this for everyone and I wouldn't even recommend it for myself, but for someone that's 60 kilos in body weight and clearly underweight, I would definitely recommend doing that. Anyways, I'm done with Jack's fit and his comments. Click the video on screen right now because YouTube thinks you'll enjoy it and I'll see you all over there. Subscribe.